Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden and I wanted to show you an update today with my hydroponic rat's tail radish plant. As you see right here, this plant is looking nice and big. Oh, it's put on a ton of new leaf growth and has actually begun to flower as I bring you up here going up the stem. Look at this right up top here. The last video we recorded, I actually, we seen something similar to this, a little bit smaller, and I was actually excited about what's to come, and I was correct, it was actually something new, let me actually zoom you in, show you what one of these flowers look like, and basically, like I mentioned earlier, this is a radish plant, and it grows differently than the traditional radish plant, how it would grow under the ground, or underneath your grow media. This plant likes to grow above, which actually grows out of these beautiful flowers. So after these flowers um, actually begin to wilt away, it's going to leave basically the small little green seed pod right behind it. And it's an edible seed pod and it tastes it's supposed to be quite spicy and it's supposed to be really delicious. And if you eat it when it gets nice and big, it's going to be nice and spicy, and if you eat it nice young, it has a little lighter taste. So we'll try both and see what I, I'll tell you exactly what I prefer and what it tastes like. And these flowers actually nice, beautiful yellowish, purple, white petals, and it smells the smells resembles a lilac, I think, or at least to me it smells like lilacs, and it smells really nice, I think. And thankfully, I have a ton of little flowers forming right above here, so I'm going to have a bunch of seed pods. And I know this plant likes to grow prolifically, so hopefully after this, these pods grow, I'm going to have a bunch more that are growing. And I'll show you what they look like after they begin to grow, and we'll record the progress going each way. But if we go down the plant right over here, basically towards the base of the plant, these initial leaves right here, you see they're beginning to wilt away. These were the first two leaves, basically. And they're starting to yellow, to turn yellow and brown and starting to die off. But uh, all the other leaf growth looks pretty healthy and nice and green. I noticed on some of the leaves, however, you begin to see these tiny little dark black spots. And I think that that's supposed to be a sign of either nutrient burn or possibly another deficiency so what I'm gonna do is actually two things we're gonna be changing out the reservoir here if I lift this up this is actually feeling nice and light so I know the nutrients are about to run out and thankfully I kept a little window to see how much nutrients are left and you could see right here since my last refill already I think a few weeks ago it's almost down to nothing so we're actually gonna take a look at the root system change out the reservoir and let's test the the pH and the ppm of the water see what it's showing us so what I like to do the easiest method that I find to change the nutrients or the reservoir I should say is just give yourself another container this way you fill it up and transplant that right in there so let's fill that up I have my nutrients already pre-mixed right here I'm using basically a mixture of master blend 3 grams calcium nitrate 3 grams and Epsom salt I'm using uh, 2 grams and that's always what I use for my flowering stage plants. So I kept the level right here, so I'm gonna know how much it is, and I'm gonna keep it just under 1500 milliliters, probably around 1400, maybe 1450, something like that. So let's just quickly pour that in. And there we have it just under 1500 so maybe around 1450 and let's see what the root system looks like so my initial thoughts right away are nice and healthy it's looking pretty good i think looking nice and white everything looks clean the root system looks nice and intact and very entangled right there so i know it's very thick and i see a lot of new roots going all over the place here so i see a ton of air roots up top here and these roots right over here are basically the nutrient roots that are absorbing and taking up the, the water and nutrients as it needs. So let's put that in there. And there we have it. Our reservoir has changed. We got nice quick 30 seconds would it take 
change out the water and give this thing a new home. And I know basically from all my testing, the, P, the pH should be roughly around between 6.0 and 6.5, which is perfect for this radish plant. And the PPM is going to be around probably 12, 1300. So that should be pretty good, I think, for this plant, being that it's a pretty heavy producer. Now it's actually testing nutrients since I can't dip my measurings in there. So let's actually pour that in this little cup right here and see what we have. So first thing I like to do is actually see what it looks like. You see actually some of the cocoa core residue or maybe the clay pebble residue right here at the bottom. So some of it fell down. It's not, it doesn't look too clear, but actually the water looks pretty clear for the most part. Mine is the residue that's there. It's looking nice and clear. So I know the master blend mixture looks nice and yellow as you see here. And this water here looks nice and clear. So I know this plant actually took up most of the nutrients that was in there. So I don't expect there to be a high number when I test this using my TDS meter. And this will test your PPM and your nutrients and, and the water that you, you're putting it in. And all you gotta do is just basically submerge it up to here. As you see, it has a little meters right over there. Two prongs basically that stick out that test the water. So let's see what it's showing. And yeah, exactly what I said. This basic, this thing has only 49 parts per million, 50 parts per million, which is basically nothing. When you That could be just the plain water by itself, which is most likely the case and has to do with why this plant is beginning to yellow a tiny bit in the very lower leaves. And I know it's a nutrient deficiency because the rest of the leaves look nice and healthy going above the canopy here. And it's only starting from the bottom and that's a good way to see what's going on. If it's all over the place, you know, it might be like a fungus infection or something else. But if it's starting from the bottom, it's most likely a nutrient issue. And let's see what the pH is gonna be. And look at that, the pH actually raised quite a bit. So let's let that settle in and see what it shows. So 7.3, so yeah, that's that's awfully high for what I wanna do here. And this plant is probably gonna have some nutrient lock if, if that's the case, and it won't be able to uptake any of the nutrients. It would just basically start intertwining on itself, the, the root system, and it won't be able to take up anything that it needs. So now that this thing has its new home, I'm gonna put, put it back in my greenhouse or my grow tent right over here and keep the progress going. So I'm really happy with its current growth and I'll show you what the seed pods look like once they begin to grow. And as always, if you have any questions, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Look at this beautiful little purple flower about to bloom. Thanks for watching.